Six classes. Three red and three white are all that stand in between me and the certification. Master Smoye. Three red and three white. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. I mean, you're able to go through your entire life and appreciate the complexity of a bold red and the brightness of a crisp and buttery white without hesitation. When I was younger, my family and I would go to our town's best steakhouse once a year, and I would always marvel when the song came over. I would just sit and watch as she listened to my parents about what they ordered, because I could tell she didn't really care if they got fish or steak. She was listening to them. She was taking them in and matching their presence with the notes of a red or a white, and she took risks. She would pair a red with oysters or a chardonnay with a porterhouse. She worked without fear and limitation and it was magnificent. And I always thought, well, that's how I want to live my life. No limitation. I love wine. And you know what any lover of wine will say when you ask them if they prefer red or white? Well, it depends on the occasion. Which I find so hilariously frustrating because it's always those same people who, when I say I love men and women equally, they always have some shit to say. If I'm with a man, I'm only saying it because I want attention or to be sexually provocative. And if I'm with a woman, well, there was no before or after. I'm in a lesbian relationship, so I must be a lesbian. And I don't take offense to that type of assumption. It's just not me. Not fully me. What is this? A Chateau Neuf de Pop. Perfect. This wine is a delicious blend of Grenache, Syrah, Grenache Blanc. Um, oh, I know this. Terre Noir, Muscardine, Brossan, Bergoulin, Picpoux Blanc, and many others. I know I need to work on it, but the point I'm trying to make is you can take a glass of CDP and identify the varying aromas and, and flavors and grape composition and you accept it. You don't go, mm, I'm getting notes of raspberry, plum, leather, and herbs, but it makes more sense for this to be a Shiraz, so I'm going to call it a Shiraz. No, it is what it is and I am who I am. And I'm sick of erasing myself for the comfort and continuity of everyone else's close-mindedness. If I don't have a preference on who I go to bed with, why does everyone have a preference on what they call me? I just want someone to drink me whole and experience every note and nuance with excitement and not judgment. Or maybe that's just something you'll only deserve for me.